So if we look at the foot, there's two things we can do. The, there's the forefoot and the ankle. So there's a word called uh, plantar flexion and you, you know it more as pointy. I can plantar flex at the forefoot. So, um, and I can plantar flex at the ankle. And I'm a perfect example. I have these great looking feet, but I could, I look like I'm pointed, but I'm just moving at my ankle joint. Then there's, I can flex, or it's also called dorsiflex, where I lift my toes up and I can dorsiflex at the ankle. When we are in hyperextension, we're kind of living with the ankle in, dors in uh, plantar flexion. And it, it, then it's gonna change the mechanics of your leg. So what I want you to think about, and we're gonna do some uh, awareness about it, as you in get a little more clearer of that shin bone being, oh, this is called the, below the um, part of the foot is the talus. Can you visualize it going straight over that, okay? Um, so everybody first come to standing. And we're gonna do a very deceptively simple exercise. But I want, all I want you to do is rock forward to your forefoot and rock back to your heel. But it's very small, so I don't want you to rock so much your heels come up and so much your, uh, your forefoot comes up. And I want you to make sure you're trying to bring your whole body a little bit forward and your whole body back. Just that simple. So you're just going to transfer the weight towards your uh, ball, of your foot, and then you transfer the weight back to your heel. And you're going to transfer it forward and good. And now don't hold on to, because uh, I, I don't want it to be so much like it's that. I want you to find that the ball, of the foot, and the heel. Now just stand between the ball, of the foot, and the heel. Now come on to your yoga block or books. And I want you to stand that, you, um, that your bow, your foot, your arch is over the center of your uh, yoga, your, your prop, and your toes are off. So now I really have to balance between, and I, you can see I'm bringing the yoga block uh, it's lengthwise that it, it, and let's just do bad version. So if I put my weight back on the heels, I'm going to fall off. And if I go too much forward, so I have to find that place. Now put your hand on your breastbone. So at the top of the collarbone and the xiphoid process and visualize it being in the same plane as the wall in front of you. Take a deep breath in, inhale, breathe. And can you pull up through your pelvic floor and just see lifting up? Take a deep breath in, inhale, breathe. And I'm just trying to get that internal lift and through. Now, come off the block, so I, I want you to feel this. I want you to go to bad version and have the weight towards your heels. And now try lifting up your low abdominals and see how it, it, it's kind of, it's like a fountain that's not running well. And now just have all the way to your toes and then try lifting up. And then just see if you get even between the ball of the foot and the heel and lift up the pelvic floor. Notice it currents up in a, like I can feel like I'm pulling up from my arches through my pelvic floor up through the roof of my mouth. Now, come get your chair. So you're going to have your chair on the left side of you with your left hand on and your left uh, hip towards the chair. So we're going to do our coda. So you're going to reach across and touch the chair. You're going to reach to the back space and rotate. You reach up high 
You're going to keep weight into your right sit bone and side bend to your left. And then again, we're going to twist and bow towards the chair. We're going to reach back to the back corner. We're going to reach up high. And then we're going to side bend. And we're keeping our legs straight, but we keep weight into the left. So I don't want you to swing your hip out yet. And then you bring it back. One more time. You're going to reach across. You're going to reach to the back. You're going to reach up. And then you're going to side bend and go. Come bring the chair to the other side. I'm going to use the wall. So I'm going to reach across on a diagonal. I'm going to reach to the back. I'm going to reach up high. And I'm going to side bend to the right, keeping the right foot anchored. And then bring it and then go across diagonally right. Reach back to the back corner. Reach your arm up. And then side bend. And last one, you're going to reach. And you're going to reach it to the back. And then you're going to reach up. And then you're going to bring it across. Now take your yoga block. And you're going to, um, if you need a wall or the chair, I'm going to show it this way so you can see it, but you could do it facing that way. I'm going to put the ball of the foot on the yoga block. So it's forcing my right foot in dorsiflexion. And then I'm going to releve on my left uh, heel that brings a pelvic shift forward. And then I'm going to lower back down. So you're going to observe two things. This lift of my heel shifts my pelvis forward. And then it's going to stretch my right ankle and make me bend better at the ankle joint. What I want you to be careful of is I'm not leading with my upper spine. Okay? So here we go. So you're standing on both legs. And you're going to lift your left heel up. And you're going to pelvic shift forward over your right leg. And then you're going to lower down. Your right foot is up. And you're going to lift your left heel up. And good. Lift your left heel up better. Um, and then lower down. A D. Really lift that left heel. So you're really getting a high releve up on your toes on your left leg. And then bring it back. Now just stand on two legs and notice how your right ankle is a little differently organized. So that's what we want to find that we're getting that shin and better do dorsiflexion at the ankle. Bring the left foot on and make look at your feet, make sure they're parallel. And you're going to lift your right heel up and pelvic shift forward over the uh, towards your prop and then lower down. D, bring your uh, right leg back a little bit and you're gonna lift your heel up and shift and then you're gonna lower down and you're gonna lift up. There you go and then lower down. And last one, you're gonna lift up and then you're going to lower down. Now stand on both legs. Feel what that feels like. Now bring your, uh, you're going to stand on your books or your yoga block on your left leg. And your toes are off of the, um, uh, your prop. So I'm up on releve on my right foot. My foot is parallel. And I'm going to dr drop a little bit down so my hip swings to the chair. Other leg, Betsy. Le left leg is on your prop. And then I'm going to use my right left hip to bring it back. So I'm going to drop. And then I'm going to also feel, do I have weight between the ball of the foot and the heel? And then I'm going to lower down. So your left foot should be on your prop. And then lower down, last one. And you're going to lift and then lower down. Switch sides. 
so that you have your right foot on the yoga block, your toes are off the floor. I'm on releve on my uh, left foot and I'm going to swing my hip. Uh, I'm gonna to try to drop my hip down, my foot down, I might not touch. And then I'm gonna use my foot and lift up. Good, two more times, you're gonna drop. And then you're gonna, your, let your right leg stay straight. That's it. And then you're gonna drop, and then you're gonna bring it through. Now, turn the yoga block so that it faces this way. And you're gonna still put your right foot on and your left leg is back. So you're kind of in a lunge. You're gonna lean forward and lightly put your hands on the chair, and you're going to press and elongate your spine forward. You're going to shift so the weight gets even over the ball of the foot and the heel, and my right leg stays bent. And then I'm gonna lift my left foot a little bit off the floor, and it's gonna target my leg muscles. And then I'm gonna lower back down. So my right leg stays bent. Walk your left leg back a bit. Lean forward at the hips with a straight back. I'm gonna press. I'm going to releve on that left foot. I'm pushing, lifting, and I'm gonna lift that leg up. And there you go. And you should be targeting that hip. And then lower back down. Other side. So my ball of the foot is on my prop, my toes are off, and I'm gonna have my uh, right leg back. I do a little, I press down to elongate my spine. I lift my right heel up. I get the weight over the ball of the heel, and I'm testing so that when I lift my right leg a millimeter off the floor, I'm between the ball and the heel and then you're gonna lower down. One more time. You're gonna shift. Keep your left leg bent. Left knee stays bent, and you're gonna lift your leg up. So this is important, because this work on my outside leg is the beginning of walking up the chair, walking up the stairs. Okay, bring your chair to the left of you, or the wall. Your left hand is on the, um, your prop and your, the working leg is gonna be the left leg. I'm gonna do it here for you. So you're in parallel and you're going to put your hands on your side seams, lift your toes up and feel the weight between the ball of the foot and the heel. Firm your outer thighs in. Take a deep breath in, put your hand on the prop and now you're gonna go up to releve by lifting your hip points up. You're gonna turn out and go to first position. Lift your toes up again. Is the weight between the ball of the foot and the heel. We're gonna do two small demi plies, starting way up in the hip, and then we come back center. We're gonna open out wide, that's second position. Lift your toes up again. Feel the weight even between the ball of the foot and the heel. And now you're gonna demi-plie because you open your pelvic floor and your knees go out. And great. Now you're gonna shift to, well, shift to first and then bring your leg forward. So that's kind of what fourth position is. I'm gonna lift my toes up and my even, even though it's not a, it's not a symmetrical shape. I still wanna be on the ball and the heel. You're gonna demi-plie because you started up in the hips. There you go. To do a third position, I just pull to the middle of the ankle. If you're a dancer, you pull to your fifth. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna lift my toes up and my in between the ball, the foot and the heel. And I'm gonna demi and straighten and demi straight, total. This time you're gonna plie and twist. You're gonna reach the back space. 
You're going to side bend to your left, and then you bend your knees and you bow. And then you roll back up and come up to standing. Going to the other side. So the chair or your prop is to the right of you. And you put your right hand on, you're in parallel. Lift your toes up. Is your ball the foot weight even between the ball and the heel? Take a deep breath in, lift up through your pelvic floor. Slowly releve because you lift up through your center. Then from the top of your thigh bone, turn out, go to first position. Lift your toes up. Feel the weight even between the ball and the heel. You're going to demi and then open. Think the demi is a widening and then bring it back out. You're gonna slide your leg out wide, that's second position. You lift both, all your toes up, feel the weight between the ball and the heel. You're going to open through the pelvic floor and then come back center. You're gonna open through the pelvic floor and come back center. Come back to first and then slide the leg straight forward, that's your fourth. Now lift your toes up, even though it's uneven, I'm going to do it this way. I'm even between my legs. I'm not on one side. So I'm going to demi and then straighten. Open your pelvic floor and come back center and open straight. Bring your leg back to uh, third or fifth. So you're going to start, you're going to lift your toes up. Feel the weight between the ball of the foot and the heel. And you're going to demi and then straighten, and demi, and straighten. Coda, you're gonna demi and bow to the diagonal. You're gonna reach to the back. You're gonna reach your arm up and side bend. Again, you're going, and then bow and curve. Let's do that again. You're gonna reach and curve. You're gonna reach to back space. You're gonna reach up high, side bend, plie, curve, and bring it back. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the first side. This is a coda, we'll do that as well. But I'm gonna uh, review the next thing we're gonna do. So last week, matter of fact, everybody do this. So we had a thing um, that we put our heel on our ankle. And I want you to observe when you stand, is your habit, Either does that, do you see how my shin falls backwards? And then some of you, your shin falls sideways. So for you, some of you, I might put, I'm gonna call this mini tree. I'm, pre, I'm putting my foot on the side of my ankle and I'm pressing my left shin against my ankle. For those who have a lot of hyperextension, I might put it in front just to learn to get the calf. And do you see how it brings my bone right over my foot, not behind my foot? So we're going to do that first. And then we're going to flex our foot. So this is a coup de bouillet. We're going to reach the leg out with a flex foot. We're going to point our foot. We're going to flex. We're going to stand on it. Feel your dorsiflexion. Then two entendus and then bring it in. So we're going to do whatever you need, whether you need a tree in the front or there, and we're just going to stand on that. Then we're going to flex our foot and reach out. We're going to point our toe. We're going to flex. We're going to stand on both legs. And then I'm moving my gesture leg away from my working leg. We'll do that again. We're gonna to go to the back and then we do side. So we do front, side, back, side, and then we're gonna do the coda. And this time you're gonna do a little double bounce and you're gonna lift up. You're gonna lift your toes up and can you feel the plumb line, head, tail, heel. So come to uh, parallel, lift your toes up. Visualize the ball of the foot, the weight even between the ball of the foot and the heel. 
Use your low belly to sink the whole shape goes up. You're gonna turn out from the top of your leg and you're gonna to go to first position. We're going to put the heel on our shin, wherever you think it's gonna give you the most um, information. And then just see if you can bounce. Press your outer shin into your uh, right foot. Then you're going to flex your ankle and you're gonna reach your leg forward. You're gonna point your foot. You're gonna flex your ankle and you're gonna stand on your foot. You reach out one on tendu front and you're feeling the stability of your standing leg and hold. Second, so we go back to coup de pied. I press my ankle in. I press my working shin into my heel. You're gonna see if you can balance. Firm that calf and shin in. Then I'm gonna flex my foot out. I'm gonna point it and I'm gonna flex and I'm gonna stand on two legs. Feel the standing leg to reach the gesture leg out and come back center. Your hand is on the chair and push out and then bring it back in. You're going to go to coupier or tree. You're gonna firm your left ankle into your uh, right heel. You're gonna see if you can balance and no, you might shake. And then you're gonna flex your foot back. You're gonna point your foot. You're gonna flex, stand on two legs, feel ball and heel, stretch back one, back in, stretch out two, back in. You're gonna to come to coup de pied. You're gonna press your outer ankle into your heel. See if you can balance. You're going to flex your foot. You're going to point your foot. You're going to flex your foot. Come back center. You're going to entendu one and come back in. Onto do one and come back in. Coda. We're going to reach across diagonally. You're going to reach up and back. You're going to side bend. You're going to double bounce. Then you're going to come and bring your arms up to fist. Flex your toes, lift your center up. So you're getting this beautiful plumb line. Are your shins behind you? Can you make sure your shins are right over your ankles? Second side. So your uh, right hand is on your prop. Your, your right leg is your standing leg. Parallel legs. So move the outer shins to the inner shins. Lift your toes up. Is the weight even between the ball and the heel? Lift your center up, lift up through your pelvic floor to uh, put your hand on the chair, turn out from the top of the leg, and then lower your down into first. You're going to coup to pie your right foot or tree, and I'm going to press my outer left, right outer ankle into my left heel. See if you can balance. Lift up through your pelvic floor. You're gonna flex your foot. You're gonna point your foot. You're gonna flex and stand on two legs. Lift all the toes up. You're gonna entendu front, come back center. Entendu front and come back center. You're gonna coup de bie. You press your right ankle into your left heel. You lift up through your pelvic floor, see if you can balance. Good. And now you flex your foot out. You point your foot. You flex your foot. Come back home. You entendu one and come back in. Entendu two, come back in. Coup de pied. You're going to flex your foot. You press your right ankle into your left heel. See if you can balance. Is the weight between the ball of the foot and the heel on your right foot? This is good, this is good. Great, and now you're gonna shift your leg back flexed and you're gonna point your foot and you're gonna flex your foot and then you're gonna bring it back in. Now, some of you are here in your cast, so lift up 
Feel your um, weight even between the ball of the foot. Stretch back one, come back center. Stretch back two and come back center. You're going to flex your foot, see if you can balance, lift up through your pelvic floor. And then you're going to flex your foot and point. You're gonna flex and bring it back in. You're gonna stretch out and come back in. And your stretch out, come back in. Coda, you're gonna reach across. You're gonna open out diagonally, reach up high, side bend and bow, double bounce. Reach your arms up, lift your toes up. Is your shins over your ankles? or is it behind you? Good, okay, come to the front. So we're gonna just start right away in first position. So we're going to go into that coup de pied. We're gonna flex and point. We lift it up, so that's called dégagé, when I come and I lift it a little higher. Then I'm gonna do two dégagés front and stand, okay? So you come into that coup de pied, you flex, you point, you lift, come back home, two dégagés, feeling that the, I'm moving my gesture away, of, away from that stability. So you do come to coup de bie, you send it out, you point, you lift, you come back in and home, two dégagés, and then you do it to the side, the same rhythm. We'll do the code again, double bounce, this time you're gonna lift up. If you need to, you're gonna releve, and then can you balance? Okay, here we go. So before you begin, lift your toes up. Matter of fact, I want you to demi-plie, and I want you to imagine to straighten your legs, you're sending the bones up. I'm gonna do bad, good version. So do you see how my stripe goes up? For those who, do you see how, how I send the back of the knees back? So the more you can visualize the bones moving up, you're gonna invite a whole different phrasing. So my left hand's on the chair, my left leg is a standing leg, okay? Now, you have, if you're too close, do you see what happens to my shoulder? And then I'm also a little bit in front, yes? So that I don't have, it helps my back. So here I'm in first position. I'm going to coup de bie up. I'm going to flex my foot. I'm going to point it. I'm going to lift it up and lower down. Two dégagé touch, one. And now is your spine staying up? And now flex and reach out and point and lift. And you're going to reach out one. That's it, lift up your spine, Eleanor, there you go, great. And you're going to coup to be and you're gonna flex, and you're gonna point, you're gonna lift up, back to first, you're gonna reach, swing it back, a straight leg D, straight leg back, and then great. So I'm going to flex, and I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna point my foot and lift, and then I'm gonna come back in. With a straight leg, I push it away. And I'm pushing it away from my standing leg. Koto, you're gonna reach across. You're gonna reach diagonally back. You're gonna reach up, fall forward, double bounce. You're gonna lift up. You might put your hand on. You're gonna lift up, releve. And then can you feel that lift? Now, I don't want to do this. Remember when we started class, I want to feel this lift without popping my ribs. Coming to the second side. So I'm in first position. My right hand is on the, uh, my prop. My, my right leg is the standing leg. So I'm going to coup de bie with a flex foot. I'm going to stretch it forward. I'm going to point. I'm going to lift, bring it back home. Now open your arm out. So sometimes being spacious with your, just your arm can lift your center up. 
And you're going to degage one. And you're going to degage two. Good. You're going to coup de bay flex. Flex it out, extend, and point. Lift it up, lower down. Brush it out one, come back home. Brush it out two, there you go. And now you coup de bay flex, and you reach it back. You point with the straight leg, you lift, and come back in, two on, uh, degages back, and back. And one more time, and coup uh, de pied, and flex, and point, and lift, and come back, and you push out, and through, and push out. Coda, you're going to reach across, you're going to reach into backspace, you're going to do a double bounce, and then you're going to lift the whole thing up, you're going to put your hand in releve. Put your hand on your breastbone. So make sure you're not doing this. Your breastbone is placed in line with the front wall. And then I lift up through there. And then I can, I lift my arms from there. The minute I let my ribs go flying, I lose my feet. Okay. Now, come back with the yoga block. And I'm going to have the yoga or your books, whatever you have. So here I have the same idea, I'm in a lunge, and I'm gonna go up to releve. I'm gonna shift and take my foot off. Then I'm gonna use all the muscles of my leg to lift up, and then my left leg just hangs down, and I lift up to there. And then I run the film backwards, and then I'm really controlling from the standing leg. So, your right foot is on the block. You're gonna shift forward and do a releve with your left foot. Put your hands on your prop. Your right leg is bent. Your right leg is bent. Push lightly down to keep your spine elongated. Now, shift a little bit more forward so the weight's even between the ball and the heel of your right foot and your left leg comes off the floor a tiny bit. Bend your right knee, bend your right knee. Put your right hand right where we worked last week, so you wanna feel that work. And then it's this tone that brings me up to standing and I'm lifting up through the pelvic floor. Is your shin right between the ball of your heel? And then you're gonna reach it back and you're gonna come back to uh, there. So my, I'm gonna go to a longer lunge. Some of you are too short, go wider, a longer stride, that's it. So my hands are on the prop or on the wall. I'm gonna releve left. I'm gonna keep a plie on my right leg and I'm gonna challenge my right leg and I lift my left foot off the floor just a little bit. Then you're going to use this to straighten your leg and lift up and lift up through your pelvic floor. Let your left leg hang right underneath you and then let it go. Second side. So, it, and this has been so important for me. I'm gonna do bad version. Because I have an ACL tear, my knee is doing this because there's no ligaments holding it. So I have to really get this to work so I don't do that, okay? So your left leg is on the, the uh, left foot is on the block. Your toes are off. Your right leg is behind you. Your left knee is bent. You're gonna lift your right heel up. You're gonna shift the weight a little bit so the weight is between the ball of the foot and your heel of your left foot and your left leg is still bent. Shift forward more bit, but bend your knee. Then lift your leg up a millimeter and elongate your spine. Then you're gonna slowly straighten your left leg and let your right leg hang and the weight is still between the ball and the heel. Lift up through your pelvic floor. 
you're going to reach your leg back and you're going to control it down. You're going to go shift, ball, your releve on your right, shift with a bent knee. This is important. This is walking up the stairs. Some of you are so interested in straightening it, you're not challenging what you need for that. So you're going to go up on your toes. Your left leg stays bent. The weight is between the ball of the foot and your heel. And you're going to slowly straighten your left leg to bring the whole thing back up. Right. Okay. Coming back, I'm using the wall. Right hand is on the wall. Left hand is on um, uh, your right, I'm sorry. Left hand is on the wall, left leg is the working leg. So we're gonna, we're in first position. And I want you to notice where your bones are. So what we're gonna do coupe, we're gonna do passe, we're gonna do attitude and on degage front, lower down. We're gonna do all front side back side. Again, what I want you to get aware of, this is my standing leg. Does my bones stay where they are or do I fall back? And it's partly that calf that's working and it's part, no matter how everybody do this, stand in first and bring your uh, left leg forward, uh, right leg forward. And now fall back onto your heel and put your hands on your tush. Now, bring more weight over the ball of the foot. Imagine the calf, there's a little person behind your calf gently pushing it forward and notice it got you toned into your top of your leg. So that coordination is really important. So we're gonna do um, coup de pay, passe, attitude, dégagé, front side, back side. Then we're gonna do coda and double bounce and then come up, okay? Here we go. So standing on two legs, feel your this beautiful connection all the way down to your calves. You're gonna coup de pie one, passe, attitude, stretch your leg forward, come back to first. Now you gotta keep your spine up, okay? So you're gonna go coup de pie, passe, attitude and maybe you go here and compare to higher because i don't want you to drop down in your spine to the back coup de pie passe back attitude stretch your leg out come up to standing come back home feel your left leg coup de pie passe attitude stretch and lower down. Coda, you're gonna reach across. You're gonna swing it around. You're gonna double bounce. You're gonna come up. You're gonna releve. You're gonna lift your heels up and then lower down. Good, second side. So you're in first position. Lift your balls, your feet up. Feel how your back line from the sit bone slides shorter to the back of the knee, to the heel, to the forefoot. Bad version. When I hyperextend, do you see how your back line gets longer? So I'm gonna just visualize that support in the back of my leg. Here we go. So my right hand is on the chair. My right leg is the working leg. So I coupe, I pate. I attitude, I extend out, come back down. I coupe, I passe, attitude, stretch it out. I coupe, passe, attitude, stretch it back. I coupe, I passe, I go to attitude, stretch out. Coda, reach across, reach diagonal, reach it back, and bow, double belt. Feel the ball of the foot and the heel, lift up through your center, releve, 
see if you can balance. Great, good. Come to the first side. So we're gonna do some leg swings and basically it's attitude and I'm just swinging, just really nice and loose, okay? We're gonna do 16, here we go. So we, uh, you're standing on your right leg, left leg, I'm sorry, left leg, left hand on the wall. So I'm gonna swing one and two, forward and back, very loose. There we go. Good. Turn out a little better, um, Eleanor, so your knee is not forward, but faces the wall. There you go. Great. I'm going to face this way so you can see how I'm swinging back. So now my right hand is on the wall and my right leg is the side of that. So I'm going to swing it forward and back and front and back and front and back. Open your arm out. Open it. That helps you balance. That's it. There we go. Good. Coming to the first side. So we're going to do what's called bout mount, which is, means leg kicks. And I want you to remember we went through this. So you're just going to go and throw it more. So I'm throwing away. But I'm not doing this. So do you see when I lose my spine, I lose my leg? So it's almost that... We'll just do this, it's kind of silly. I want you to hit your left hip to throw your right leg forward. You're gonna hit your left hip to throw your leg forward. So it's the power of your standing leg that gives you mobility for your, that's it, okay. So we're gonna do four kicks front, four kicks back, and let's just do front and side, and then we'll talk about back, okay? So your uh, left hand is on your chair. You're gonna stand in your left leg. So you're gonna firm your left leg out to kick one, kick out two, kick out three, kick out four, to this diagonal, and one. So it'll be going to two o'clock, two, and three and four. Great. Do the other side. So I would rather you do it this high and feel this space than to do this. Do you see the difference? So my uh, right hand is on my prop. My right leg is my standing leg. Open your arm out and it helps balance you. So you're going to kick out one and in. And now, Bettina, I feel you're falling back on your standing leg. So it may, feel it stay firm. And three and four. Turn a little more first position, Eleanor. Your knees are facing this way. Yes. And you're going to reach out one. And in. And good. Now, Maria, visualize that inside lane of your foot staying down on your standing leg as you kick your leg out. Go ahead. That was it. There we go. Great. Now, I want you to come. So you're going to have, you're in first position. And now let's do parallel. So you're going to have your leg behind you. I'm going to do both legs so you can see it. I'm seeing my hips evenly go towards the um, prop or the wall. But uh, do you see I'm not turning my pelvis? And then if you see, I'm gonna do the other side, my head tail stays the same uh, line. So that's my planche, okay? So go to parallel. And so I'm on my right leg. And before you, and your left leg is behind you, put your right hand on your right outer thigh. Lift your right toes up and make sure you feel weight over the ball of the foot. Stretch your leg back, D. Straight behind you. There you go. Move closer to your chair, D. Move closer to your chair. Now put both hands on your chair. And you can lightly press down because I want you to elongate as you pitch forward. Now, can you take one arm off? 
Can you take the other arm off? And you're good. Then put your left hand on and come back up to standing by using your right leg. Keep your left leg back. You're gonna use your right leg to control it forward. See if you can bounce. For those who are more experienced, you can do it without holding on. It's really a lot of your right hip. So I'm going to pitch forward and then I'm gonna bring it back and I'm gonna pitch forward and come back. Stand on two legs. Just feel how waking up that also helps your feet. That's it, that's it. So bring your, your left leg is forward, my right leg is back, but my weight is over my left foot, ball the foot. Now, are you doing this? Even though my, I do, because of the design of our body, we do have to shift a little bit forward, but I'm not shifting the ribs, I'm shifting from my top of my leg. So you're gonna pitch forward with a straight line between your right, your head and your right foot. See if you can lift one arm up. I don't care if you lift it, I more care that you feel that left hip working and then put one hand on and come back up to standing. Great. And you're going to pitch forward, go ahead. Good, good, feel, Jan, bring that calf forward. That's it, and then come back up to standing. There you go. And reach and take it back and hold, good. So now you're gonna go to first position and we're gonna do leg kicks back. So you have to think I'm going to kick back and come up and back and come back up. So I suggest you have the chair in front of you, but not too close, yes? Yeah? So I don't want you to do this, yes? So I might be a little bit behind it. I'm gonna do it this way so um, right leg is kicking back. So I'm gonna kick my right leg back and I'm gonna come up to standing. I'm gonna kick back two and come back and kick out three. Now are your hips moving evenly forward? Or are you so interested in getting down your twisting? That's it, Veronica, great. Okay, stand on two legs, and now you're gonna do your left leg. So both hip bones are going forward to kick back. That's it, there you go. Great, stand up tall, and there you go. Now, Bettina, you're twisting. So make sure your left hip is going to the chair as you go forward. There we go, that was great and great. Now everybody come out to uh, move your chair away. And now we're just gonna see if we can challenge. So we're gonna just simply do two, two entendus front and we're gonna switch. And then we're gonna do two entendus to the side and two on to do the back the side and then to the back, back, side, 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 side. So two front, 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 side, side, back, back, side, side. So for those who've never taken the dance class, this is called marking it with my hands, yes? <laughs> so, so here we go. So my arms are out. I'm gonna feel the ball, the, let's lift our toes up so we can feel the weight over the ball, the foot and the heel. And we're gonna on time do left leg one and back in and two and in. Other leg and forward and in. Now make sure you don't, the weight, you never put weight on the on time do leg to the side. So I'm keeping my standing leg. Some of you are going to your gesture leg. I lost count, to the right. Right leg out and then come back in. Right and back in, to the back and back and in. And lift up and in, to the back, switch. And in and back and in. To the side, side and in. Straight leg out. Some of you are doing this. 
push the floor away and brush it in. Push the floor away, come back in. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do degage. This is where it's really important that you don't go towards your leg, that you keep, it's again that thought of this is your stability. Two front, right front, front, front to the side, to the back, back. Now let's talk about side. Look at your feet. And in one way, if, I, if I'm looking forward, that's 12 o'clock. And I, I want your leg to go to 10 o'clock or two o'clock. So it's really on the diagonal. Yes, there we go. Okay, okay, here we go. So lift your arms up, two front, both sides, two side, uh, both sides, back, 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 side, 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 side. Well, here we go. So we go, dégagé, point your foot, push the floor away. So you're pushing with both legs. Push down on the standing, push out with the gesture. Push, other leg, and push, and push to the back. You might, you do lean a little bit forward to take it back, and then the other leg. That's it, and other leg. Other side, and out, and out, and side, and side. Great. Now we're gonna go this, we do coupe, passe, attitude, reach out and down, front, front, side, side, back, back, side, side, okay? Here we go. Before you begin, lift your toes up, feel the, the beautiful tone that helps your calf, feel your calves move in. So I'm gonna go coupe. Passe, attitude front, stretch my leg and touch it down. I'm going to coupe, passe, attitude front, stretch it forward and take it back. I'm gonna keep reminding you as you coupe, how's your standing leg? Whoops, let's see, he's getting crazy. And stretch and down. Other leg, coupe, passe, attitude, and stretch. To the back, coupe, passe. You do need to lean your hips forward and then come back. And you're going to coupe and passe, attitude, and stretch. Last time, you're going to coupe and passe. And out, I did that wrong, but you probably did it good. Coupe, passe, attitude, stretch out, bring it through. Now come to a wall and take your block and you're gonna put it between your ankles. Now, what you're gonna do is I'm gonna really releve on one foot. Uh, let's see how I can show you this. Uh, I'm gonna do it this way. Because a lot of times when I go single leg, I, I'm gonna, I'm doing good version, yes? A lot of times when people releve on one foot or both feet, they tend to, do you see how my ankle goes out? Yes? So that's training those calf muscles that are responsible for your releve. So let's have, um, you have a choice. Probably it's better if both hands are on your chair or a wall so that you can feel that your hip bones stay even. So I'm really gonna releve on my left leg and my right ankle is dorsiflex. Do you face towards your chair? That's it, that's it, great. So you're going to lift up and releve your left foot and lower down. And I'm lifting up and lower down. So my, my right ankle is flexed 
and I'm relevate, I'm going up on my toes on my left foot. And lift, there you go. You're, uh, that's it, right. Now, some of you are, I'm gonna do bad version, is you're getting the releve because you're shifting forward. I want you to imagine there's a puppet string on the back of your heel that lifts you up and then there's puppet strings on the front that I'm going straight up, okay? Do the other leg. So I'm standing on my right leg. I'm flexing my right ankle so that when I, on my left ankle, I lift up on my toe, I releve on my left foot and my left foot is off the floor and lower down. Maria, this is great. And you're gonna lift up and lower down. And you're gonna lift up and lower down. And you're gonna lift up. Mary Jo, try to go a little more straight up, straight up to the ceiling. Pull. Yes, 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 yes. There you go. There you go, great. And then bring it back and through, good. Okay, just one last thing. I want you to come down to the floor and your weight is on your fingertips. And I'm in a wide parallel position. And I'm trying to keep a neutral and squat back so I can learn about, oh, I need to open the tip. And it's not a round back. So go up on your fingertips, uh, D. Untuck your toes, D. Untuck your toes. There you go. And shift forward. So it's really about opening the tissues around your buttocks as I shift back. Shift back. So it's a, like you're about to sit on your heels. There you go. And then come back. Now you're going to turn both knees to uh, both shins to one direction. And you're going to try to sit down. And then you're going to come back. So then this is working on internal and external rotation and flexibility at the hip. And now turn and switch the other direction. So I'm going to sit back on my hips and my right leg is slightly turned out. And my, and D, you, this is really good. Don't, I don't, I keep the weight off your hands. So it's more about my shifting back on my legs than weight forward. That's it. Everybody come up to standing. See what that feels like. Close your eyes. Lift your toes up. Can you bring your calves, your shin bone, right over your ankles? And then notice how your top of your femur bone is right over your ankles. And your ribs are right over your ankles. And the roof of your mouth is right over your ankles. Great. Right. Any questions? You have to unmute yourself or comments. Leslie, mm -hmm. when you renovate, do you have to keep your heels together? It depends. No, yeah. it all depends on your design. Um, okay. And like, for instance, um, I am not need. Right. So for me to try to, uh, and because of it, my hip design, it's really hard to bring my ankles together. Yes. Okay. And especially in parallel, what I want you to get is that feeling. When you're in first, you want to try to keep your heels together. But it's more that if I do this with my foot and go to the outside of my foot, do you see how my heels come yeah. apart? And it also sometimes uh, people releve and they lift their heels up, right. uh, the inner heel. So it's trying to get that calf to do work, okay? Uh -huh. And then okay. when we do the cat, uh, I mean the hinge forward and back, a lot of people don't feel, they feel more stress from the ankle joint because your shin does not touch the ground. Should we put like a yoga mat in there for the ankles? 
when it, you know, there's with, some people that it's such a stretch. It's right. a little too much. So you might put something underneath okay. the shin. Um, okay, thank you so but much. But it's good, you know, in one way, I mean, people need to stretch the front of the foot. Yes? Right. Some people need to do that. Um, okay, thank you so much. Anything else? Great class. Good? Leslie? Yeah. Um, question in regard to the calves, right? My mm -hmm. observation in the past in terms of hyperextension and more a, um, a posterior tilt, a, um, oh my God, not lordotic, um, anyhow, tucking. Now I can't think of the term, right? Of the pelvis. Mm -hmm. I've noticed that the force distribution rather than going literally, you know, pelvis over head of the femur through knees, through the um, shin bones into the ankle. I've noticed that my calves take much more of the force. And I wonder if I, I said, I felt that before, if that in large has to do also with the glutes not literally being recruited, right? Well, it's a, it's a relationship, right? Right. But what uh, Bettina is talking about is, do you see where my, I'm in hyperextension and I did this for years. And the only way I could get my leg, my pelvis over my leg without addressing my strength in my legs is to tuck my tail under. Hmm. The catch 22 is I feel my calves seizing up to say, Leslie, don't fall over. Right. Now, I'm using the tone of the back of my calf to move forward. Mm. It's a different quality of tone, mm -hmm. but, but it's working. And that's the hard part. You know, we all feel this. Yeah. yeah. If we do the bicep curl, we don't know that a lot of us don't understand. I'm still using my bicep to do that. Right. Mm -hmm. Same thing here. I'm using my calf muscles to bring my shins forward. Mm -hmm. and some of the calf muscles go into the foot. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. There's many layers of calf muscle. Right. So it's finding that. But I'm always kind of, for me, oh, I need to live with my calves they over my ankle, can see. which invites a different tone. And then I can, I, the minute I do that, I can feel tone here. It's right. not a big thing. Right. It's not this. No. But I feel something. And right. it's nice. Yes. Right. Okay. Good. Good. okay. Anything else? I have one question. Mm -hmm. When you flex all your toes, I can feel the, the ball of the foot at the big toe, but I can't find the little toe. Right. Great, 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 great. So a lot of us do that. Can you see that? I can lift the big toe. Some of you are just try to lift your little toe up. Stand up, lift your little toe up. You're also, there's muscles on the side of your legs. You, you either, it's called the peroneals or the uh, fibialis. That is also really important. And, and it also helps my, all that work we did of uh, pressing your ankle in is that uh, those pero, the peroneals or the fibularis. So you're, and a lot of us are stronger at this part of the ankle and dorsiflexion, and we need to get the, the little toe uh, out of border flexed in. So you're gonna concentrate to make that work better, okay? Yeah. It's hard. Yeah, yeah. And then that beginning exercise where we did the yoga, this one, what I, I it's just teaching me to start bending at that joint. Because as, as a hyperextended lady, this feels normal. Right. And sometimes there's like tissue tightness that doesn't allow you to learn that. So it's, that's a great exercise. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay? Good work, ladies. Have a great weekend. Thank Go. you. Thank you, Monday. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Thank you.